race victory that went right down to the wire. Eventually, it was Josh Daly Racing that took the victory to move to within 15 points of the National 1000 Championship lead. Right then, it looks like everyone is in position. We're almost ready to go then for the penultimate round then of the ACU National and No Limits Racing Club Endurance Championships. On they go, the bikes are starting to move then, and we push towards that first corner begin. So Delcovic Racing and Virtual Focus on that is 8 and 26. in on the top two, dropping down into Mansfield now. Leader into the chicane already, I'd say this gap is going out again on this lap. Yes, in the middle sector, the Earnshaw's bike is three tenths quicker than Delcovic tracing, and there are the two tenths faster in sector one, so that gap is going to shoot up to tell you where the close battles are because there are still quite a few uh, reasonably close scraps going on. Uh, within a couple of seconds of each other and such like. Um, for example, only four seconds separates the tuning number 69 and uh, 144 give a duck. Not putting in the same class, but uh, still uh, an interesting battle between the two of them. They're actually quite deep in the field. 15th place, number 53, piece be the journey. Uh, and uh, 500, plenty in the tank, Boy. sir, uh, are um, only seven tenths of a second apart, 53 and 500, and again, they're in different classes, but uh, it doesn't really matter in a way when you get the physical yeah. Yeah. Still running inside the top ten overall, leading the race outright is your National 1000 leader, Earnshaw's Motorsport, number 26. Um, leading in the National 600s is 144, give a duck with Katie Motorsport and now Box Express. Uh, leading Club 1000s are number 36, CT Racing in 7th place, and Club 600s being led by Data Sys Racing, number 72, in 10th place. And we have a red flag. Now, on this ball, the red flag is out. Good news, everyone. We've got bikes circulating once more. Behind the safety car, we're about to get the uh, race restarted then here. In this ultimate uh, round of the... Now what happens? Nine and a quarter minutes to go. Race control do have the option to red flag the race, of course, if the conditions deteriorate too much. At this stage, that would be the end of the race. They wouldn't bother restarting it, I don't think, over nine minutes. They've got slippery surface flags going out in Charlie's. Interestingly, though, they're not going out anywhere else that I can see. So it's a local shower at the moment. No slippery surface flags up on the goose leg or at the end of the park straight. So the rain hasn't reached that bit yet. a red flag we're gonna have a red flag so that i think is gonna be it the red flag is coming out eight minutes left on the clock so i've just had confirmation then that uh, that is the race completed then it is not going to be restarted unfortunately uh, so Earnshaw's motorcycles then take the victory in the penultimate round of the championship but with it the championship lead in the national 1000s and we can now congratulate provisionally our champions because in the national endurance 600 category give a duck with a class victory there fifth from five races will now be provisionally crowned at least the champions in that category. CT Racing similarly are going to take another class win their fourth of the season to wrap up the uh, Club 1000 Championship. And then finally in the Club Endurance 600, Data Sys Racing, they held on there to the victory at the end from PP Racing and so they take their fourth win of the year to wrap up that uh, title as well. The National 1000 Championship will roll on to Brands Hatch, where the top three teams will be covered by, well, not very much at all. 11 points will cover those top three going into the eight-hour race on the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit.